guys and welcome back to Jessa Yang YouTube channel and today we're gonna be learning about Leonardo da Vinci now I think you already know who Leonardo da Vinci is I mean like he's one of the most famous painters sculptors um, architects inventors biologists scientists he's a genius at everything and just in case you don't know like the boring stats, he was born in 1452 in Vinci, Italy, which is perfectly the time of the Renaissance period, which started in the 14th century. And the Renaissance period is basically a time when art flourished around Italy. And he died at the age of 67. And just a fun fact, he was 1.75 meters tall, pretty average. You would expect a Renaissance artist to like finish at least a few tens, right? Some even finished hundreds, some even finished thousands, but Leonardo da Vinci finished 15. Yeah, that's not impressive. But every single one of his artworks is incredible, especially the Mona Lisa from its mysterious smile to its beautiful Japanese background. There's loads of mysteries hidden behind Leonardo da Vinci's paintings, which makes, which is a reason why it's so incredible to look at. And fun fact, the Mona Lisa is actually 850 million pounds. Um, and that broke the Guinness World Record of the most expensive painting ever 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 and he also created loads and loads of incredible inventions that shapes the way we live today he created he invented tanks helicopters parachutes flying machines and self-powered vehicles so yeah we've definitely got a lot from him and also the way he studies the human anatomy um is incredible and he actually figured out things that we just knew today a few hundred years ago so he has a real talent and he is a real genius so a pretty interesting man let's dive deep into one of his paintings so if i give way for the painting okay great so this is a pretty interesting painting. Firstly, because the actual canvas, the actual painting is almost a perfect square. And also it is unfinished. It's an unfinished painting called The Adortion of the Magi. So it is an unfinished painting by um, Leonardo da Vinci because when he was in the middle of it, he had to be called off for another project. So this was never finished, but yet it is still one of the, the top three most important paintings from Leonardo da Vinci's. So this one's the first one, then there's the Last Supper, then there's the Mona Lisa. And also a common technique used by artists in the Renaissance is to, force a kind, is to form a kind of pyramid triangle shape between the subjects so as you can see if you um you mary's head and um link mary's head as a line down to um the one of the magi's then then connects magi's head connected through a line to the man bowing down on the other side then connected back up to um mary you can form a triangle and that is very commonly used. This is also used in the Last Supper, which we'll look at later. And also, um, this is this is uses um, linear perspective, as all the paintings back then would. So the linear perspective is basically um, is how to um, draw things as if it's three D with actual depth, um, like a room. If you draw a room, you would do these diagonal lines upwards that that would create that uh, the linear perspective. And the black dots you see, where all the lines meet, is called the vanishing point. 
and it is the point that is the farthest away from you. And the reason I'm saying this now as a voiceover is because I forgot to say it when I was making the actual video. But anyway, moving on with the video. And also, if you follow Mary's gaze, that of Jesus' head, then Jesus, um, it's sort of like Jesus continues to gaze down to the Magi. So that's constant straight right through line is also a pretty interesting technique. And this painting is actually action packed. If you look at the background, you can actually see a battle going on and you can swiss and you can see clearly a black horse or what a sketched horse in battle and lots of clouds so yeah that's that's pretty awesome and it also gives us an unfinished work also gives us clues to how Leonardo da Vinci painted his artworks so if you look at the dark um, crowd on the right you can see that many of the figures have heads that are like, literally like, plain skulls without any muscle in them, or clothes or skin. So that just gives us a clue that Leonardo da Vinci might have um, painted it as if he was forming a real, sculpting a real human being. So starting, the starting off with the skull, then you'll kind of step on the muscles, then you'll add the skin and all the texture and the, and the veins, then they'll just add the clothing. So that gives it a very, very, very um, accurate human being. Yeah, a, a, a super accurate human being. Well, through this painting, you can just clearly see um, Leonardo da Vinci's understanding of the human body. And even though it looks very dark, I don't know how, but through this painting, I see lights. I can imagine a beautiful painting like Botticelli's um, version of the Adoption of the Magi. If you want to see that version, I um, made a video on that um, on the last episode, so I'll put that in the description. I'll put that link in the description below. And yeah, can you um, painting can just work that out a little bit? Thanks. So that is the adoption of Magi, the Leonardo da Vinci's version. It's pretty interesting, definitely one of my favourite paintings of all time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and this is the short edition. In the long edition, we will analyse two more paintings and the two paintings are The Last Supper and The Mona Lisa. So if you want to see those two paintings, then I've le left the link for the long version in the description below. Other than that, I will see you next time. Bye!